to Blindly Honestly, and if you are new, hi, hello, and welcome, and I really hope you enjoyed today's video as well. And before I get started, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and please share this video out with your friends so that they can see it as well. So, we're just going to ignore this eye because you've already seen this tutorial. Um, like I said in the last video, I decided to do two different eye looks and record them separately. That way, I'd be able to get my last 12 videos out. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> so, what are we going to do with this eye is a wreath look, and I already applied my P. Louise face because y'all are already probably tired of seeing me do my con the, the setting and all that. So, I already did that. And for this look, I'm going to be using the James Charles palette again. And since I already applied my concealer, or my concealer, my P. Louise eyeshadow base, I'm going to go ahead and use canvas. And we're just going to put this all over the lid. And for that, I'm just using this fluffy brush from Unimex. And the only reason why I am applying this base when I normally don't is just so that there is a color on the lid because they're we're gonna be mainly just doing like a graphic look. It'll make sense, I hope. So now I am taking R39, and this is a blending brush, but kind of angled. And we are going to start lighter and work our way darker. We're gonna start with Social Blade. So this is gonna go on our inner crease, just pop it in there. And we are not really gonna be blending this up high, very high. We pretty much just want to stay right here. Okay, now we're going to jump into Daddy, and we're going to do the same thing. And again, we're not blending, we are just patting this in there. So now I'm taking a NYX Vivid Bright, and this is the shade Vivid Escape. And we're just gonna add some lines so that it looks like a reef. So now I'm gonna grab a glitter wand. This is from Pinky Rose, and this is the shade Money Honey. And it is a really pretty glittery green. And we're gonna apply this on the reef to give it a little bit of glitter. So I'm gonna let this dry just until it doesn't feel tacky anymore. It may take up to a minute for the glitter ones to dry like that. Okay, so now that it is dry, I'm going to pick up the, it's a Vivid Matte and a Vivid Fire, Vivid Halo, and Vivid Sapphire. And we're just gonna put a couple dots on here so it looks like lights or ornaments. And then we're gonna let those dry. And this one got kind of long. So now I'm gonna take the P. Louise and I'm gonna cut that crease. And because I don't want my lid to take away from the reef look, I'm gonna pick up a very neutral shade. I'm gonna go back into canvas and I'm gonna just put that into the crease, into the, on the lid. That looks almost too plain, huh? So I want to add a little bit of a pump to it. So I'm going to pick up this pink shade right here. This is Sister. And for that, I'm going to use this flat brush. Um, this is from Royal and Ling Nickel Balm 40 Shader Brush. And we're going to put that right there on the lid. And now for a little bit of pump up here, I'm taking this fluffy brush again, dipping into Sister, and I'm just going to put some of this up here. Okay, so this is pretty much it. I'm going to put on some lashes, and these lashes are, I'm going to put these ones on right here. These are Mimi from Pinky Rose. Alright, I have my lashes on finally. I tried doing them on camera, didn't work out. So now I'm going to jump into Daddy and B, and we're going to blend these two underneath the eye. Okay, and for the 
liner, I'm going to use this NYX Slide On Stay On and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Shine Eyeliner. And it says, this eyeliner is so good, the name had to be this long. So this is a bright green eyeliner. Okay, and for my inner corner, I'm going to use face again, but I'm also gonna mix it. So I'm gonna use face, but I'm also gonna dip into guac for a little bit of green shimmer. That is gorgeous. And then for my lips to finish this whole look, I'm going to take another glitter wand. This is from Pinky Rose again. And this is the shade Siren. And I'm gonna put this bad girl, bad boy on my lips. So I, I'm gonna do what I should have done first. I'm gonna put some gloss underneath or over it. And this is Candy Apple from Dry Cosmetics. And this is a really, really pretty high sheen gloss. And now I'm gonna add Siren over it. So to finish this spray, I'm going to liberally apply a little bit of the Cucumber Slay All Day Setting Spray. I love that stuff. I can just bathe in it, it smells so good. So yeah, ignoring this eye. <laughs> So this is the finished look for the wreath inspired eyeshadow. So let me know your thoughts and opinion on the wreath eyeshadow down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this two part eyeshadow tutorial. Let me know down below if you would like to see more two-part eyeshadow tutorials. And guys, this is my last eyeshadow tutorial of the year. Ah! Oh! Now, I may end up doing a New Year's look. I don't know yet. I'm debating still. But as far as the 12 days of Christmas, this is my last Christmas look, you guys. It's over. My last and final 12 days of Christmas video will be my Christmas haul video. I know. I'm sad. It's over. So if you guys like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad merch down below, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And with that, I'm going to get going. I hope you guys had a very, very Merry Christmas and I will see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.